Good evening. The wild say that the damage will cost them thousands of dollars, but what really concerns them is the difficulty filing a report. And in minutes, the car was in flames. A suspected arsonist destroying the end of a Friday night family gathering for Stacy and David Wild. Surveillance video shows the front yard of the Wild's home and flames illuminating the front doors. A neighbor's camera capturing the possible suspect simply walking away from the area, leaving the Wilds with a big, dangerous mess and thousands of dollars in damage. And we opened the door and we looked into the back seat of the car and the car was on fire in the back and smoke was coming out through the windows and through the ceiling. Video shows David on the phone with a fire extinguisher in hand, waiting for LA City fire officials to respond. Meanwhile, neighbors rushed in to help. Really, they're the angels that really got that fire out. And when LAFD arrived and looked around, uh, the fire department said it's arson. Is that, isn't that a crime? But it's not the crime itself that bothers them as much as what happened next. We love it here. That's why we wanted to get this story out. The incident happens. We understand that, right? It's the fact that the fire department didn't take a report, which I thought was odd. Stacy says she didn't get far with the police either. It took 45 minutes for a dispatcher to pick up the phone. And I told them what happened, and they said, that's not our jurisdiction. Instead, Stacy says she was told to follow up with L.A. City Fire. Get up the next day, call the fire department, go straight to voicemail. It says, due to COVID emergency, we are closed. Please file online. Stacy says the online website cited budgetary constraints, leaving her with no other options. So the fact that something like this happens, it could endanger a community to this extent, and it's unreportable. Fox 11 contacted LAPD and LA City fire officials. LAPD says normally LAFD would alert the police, and either their officers or LAFD would send their own team to investigate further. While LAFD says they don't normally conduct arson investigations on car fires with no injuries, adding those incidents are normally handled by insurance after the fact, unless there's solid evidence, like a clear photo of the suspect in the case. But the Wilds just want someone to respond to their concerns. We don't know what to do. I, I want them to tell us what to do. I want somebody to call me. I'm hoping that somebody on the council, Paul Kukarian, call me. And Paul Krikorian is the council member for that district. We reached out to his office late this evening. We have not yet heard back, but we'll let you know if we do. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News. Baffling one, Coco. Thank you.